what's going on everybody beastly gamer here welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while since i've been with you guys i've been hankering to get back in front of this camera and talk some shit to my fans welcome back to the beastly gamer channel today we're going to talk about something you know sometimes you read in the news and something hits you out of left field and you just don't know what to do yeah one of those kind of situations i was reading some fox news and came across this very troubling story and i wanted to present it to you guys and ask you a question on who you feel is the more guilty party here now there are some really disgusting and despicable people walking the earth today many of them you probably know and you don't know what they're guilty of they're just despicable sickening individuals everywhere that's why you have constantly got to be on guard but people who take advantage of children to me these are the kind of people that deserve a special seat in hell the people who will take advantage of children, hurt hurt children, the innocent of the world. I think that when these people die and they go to hell, there's going to be a seat that's made of flames, you know, lemon juice paper cuts, a dildo made of nails, all, all in one seat just waiting for these kind of people. And I came across a story that I want to share with you guys. It is very troubling, but I want to ask you a question at the end. Jurors considering case of man accused of raping six sisters. Six sisters. Doylestown, Pennsylvania, jurors in suburban Philadelphia are to resume deliberations Tuesday in the case of a man accused of sexually assaulting six girls in the same family, fathering two children by one of them. How does this happen? You're about to find out. Jurors deliberated for five hours Monday following closed arguments in the Bucks County trial of Lee Donald Kaplan, 52 years old, on numerous charges of rape of a child, statutory sexual assault, and other offenses. Authorities said that the mother of the girls, her nine daughters, and two granddaughters had been living with Kaplan when a neighbor's tip led them to search his Feasterville home last year. Authorities alleged the parents gifted the oldest girl to Kaplan because he helped them financially. Okay? He then fathered her two children, one of them when she was 14. The girl is now in her late teens. The girl is 19 years old now. Deputy District Attorney Kate Kohler said in her closing arg argument that Kaplan brainwashed the woman and her family, casting himself as a prophet and created a world in which child rape was the norm. He said the sisters became his little slaves, helping to run his business, cook for him and satisfy his sexual desires. Their mother was living there, and the father was there as well. I don't know if this story is going to go into that. <sighs> Quote, they existed for one reason and one reason only, and that was to satisfy him whenever he wanted and however, and however he wanted. That's what Kohler said, the prosecuting attorney said. Several girls testified last week that Kaplan had sex with them, and they considered him to be their husband. A nine-year-old testified that Kaplan began molesting her when she was seven, and the defendant told her not to tell anyone. The girl's mother testified that she knew about the sexual activity, but believed it could be a good thing. You following me? Defense attorney Ryan Hyde said the family considered Kaplan married to the oldest girl and he never abused the others. He said they lied at the insistence of their incarcerated mother and reversed initial statements denying abuse to help her get out of jail. That's what he says. Hyde also characterized his client as having been taken advantage of by the family following his generosity. Quote, he's quirky, and by quirky I mean weird, Hyde said to the jurors, but that does not mean he's a pedophile. The children's parents are awaiting sentencing on child endangerment convictions. So the parents face up to seven years time and up to a $15,000 fee uh, in their state for child endangerment charges. These people gave their daughter, 14 year old, and five other daughters to this man four years ago. Gave her to him because he helped them financially. Who's the bigger villain here? The parents, the mother who sat and watched this 52 year old molest her children? I mean, just imagine the type of psychological trauma that's gonna to happen to these girls as they get older. You know, the oldest daughter who's 19 now, she has a four-year-old and I think a one-year-old by this man. So she had a child when she was 14. She has a four-year-old and a one-year-old. Their father is this guy. I'm sure that they've been living together for four years, almost five years. They have to be emotionally attached. This guy's had to have brainwashed these, these children. He's molested a nine-year-old little girl all the way up to 19 years old. I honestly, if this story ends up being true, which it looks like it is, I mean, obviously he has a four-year-old child 
with a girl who just turned 19. Uh, I hope to throw the book at this guy, you know. Uh, as a father of three girls, I could not imagine, first of all, giving my children to someone. You know, no one's going to care about your kids the way you do. That's just the truth. But to give your child to someone, move into their house because they have money, and allow them to do whatever they want, and abuse your child sexually and who knows what else while you're there, you know, looking the other direction. I think that the parents deserve a bigger sentence than, than the actual man doing the crime. I feel like, you know, sometimes children are born into bad situations where the person who's supposed to be protecting you ends up being your worst nightmare, your worst enemy. You know, th these girls, all six of them, they had a mother and a father who were supposed to take care of them and look after them. And their mother completely sold them to the wolves. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Who's the more guilty party? The parents who gifted their 14-year-old to a man for money and then let their other five daughters move in with him so he can have sex with all six of their children? Or the man who was doing the crime? Obviously, the man doing the crime, I think he should be in prison for the rest of his life. That's just my personal opinion. You know, um, certain things are you know neg negligible, but... If you're abusing a nine-year-old kid, you started when she was seven years old. No, you're, you're a danger to society in my opinion, but the parents, I don't think they should be free either. You guys let me know what you think about the story in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel. Join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and if you'd like to show real support for my channel, visit the Patreon, link in the description. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.